<laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Ms. Nunez, and today we're going to talk about this membean word number 22, which is ob, and it means thoroughly. Notice how it's spelled, though roughly, uh, pronounced thoroughly, and it means completely, all the way. We see a picture here of a guy catching the ball and he got it. He obtained the ball thoroughly, no doubt about it. It's in the glove. So um, as you can see, uh, there are a few words related to this membean root. And the first one is an obstacle. So if I was driving down the street and there was an obstacle on the road, I can't go through. Uh, because it's standing in the way and I can't go thoroughly because it's uh, an obstacle. Uh, people can encounter obstacles, like if I'm trying to get into college and my GPA is too low. Um, if I am trying to immigrate and I don't have the necessary documents, I can encounter a lot of obstacles. So there are just things that get in the way. An obligation is something that has to be done thoroughly. So let's say your mom says, wash the dishes. You have an obligation to help her because she helps you. So um, it's tying you toward her, you have an obligation. Students have an obligation to do well in school. Parents have an obligation to support their children and care for them. And citizens, residents, people who live in a place have an obligation uh, to follow the law so that society can function. Uh, so you can oblige, this could be a verb, you can oblige a kid to give you um, the knife. So you can oblige a person to do as you wish. Uh, obtain is to get something. So I will obtain my driver's license when I turn 18. Um, opposite, <laughs> obs for ob obfuscate, obfuscate this is a word I didn't know either. So if something um, is really confusing, it has become dark. So as you notice in your membean tree, it doesn't have all of them there, but they can give you another definition. And I thought it was kind of weird because I'm not familiar with this word and I thought I could obs obfuscate the room and make it dark. Uh, but um, I notice when I click the leaf, if something is made dark, it becomes confusing, okay? So if you obfuscate something, he obfuscated me when he explained the algebra problem. He, he confused me even more. So um, it's really nice to look at the roots and the leaves. Um, if somebody is obtuse, um, the person is not very smart. So, duh, sorry, but uh, obtuse, is, obtuse is when someone is not able to understand things um, because they're always in the dark. So, um, you know, someone can be obtuse when um, they're trying to act like they don't get it. So many times I see students who are, who are obtuse, obtuse, and um, they're trying not to understand something, especially when I hear the words, hey, miss, I don't get it. Um, Acting like that is just um, acting as if um, I don't I don't even want to try. So um, someone can be seriously obtuse, not very smart, or someone can be acting like as if they were not very intelligent. Uh, so obdurate is a person who's really stubborn. Eh -eh. 
So if your brother says, come on, let's go to Wendy's and you say, no, I don't want to. Oh, come on, I'll pay. We could go real quick. I'll be right back. You could get a takeout and you say, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to eat out, which is weird, but okay. Uh, some people just don't want to um, because they want to stay in the dark. So if you are obdurate, uh, you're being stubborn. Um, sometimes I make seating arrangements and I change a student's seat and I say, come on, this is your new seat over here. And you say, no, I'm not. Or um, I ask, can I have your phone? Give me a phone. And they say, no, no, call the office. I don't care. So the person can be obdurate. Um, oh boy, this is hard to pronounce. Obstreperous, obstreperous. So someone who is obstreperous is a noisy person and out of control and very difficult. So people who are obstreperous um, usually are children, uh, someone who is playing and just being wild. The person is obstreperous, uh, noisy, um, being rude um, and very difficult to control. So we all know somebody like that. Uh, the word occupy, I believe you do know occupy. So I'm going to occupy the room until 3.30. Uh, he's occupying the chair. So if you have a word that ends in a Y and you put I-N-G, you keep the Y. And if you make it into the past, he occupied the room, then uh, you change it to I-E-D. Okay, occlude is uh, when something is in the way. So the toilet paper occluded the toilet. I couldn't flush it, it was stuck. Um, maybe a football player occluded uh, the ball and uh, they blocked it out of the way. And um, occult, um, those of us who know Spanish, oculto is something that is hidden. You can't see it, it's in the dark completely. Uh, so the occultation uh, means when something is hiding all the way. Uh, El Chapo's occultation lasted for, I don't know, a year because he was hiding out, nobody could find him. Oh, I forgot to tell you, um, an obtuse triangle. That's uh, one of our words, obtuse. Maybe you've seen this word. It's when something is over 90 degrees. So you have a right triangle because it's straight up. It's right with a right angle. Uh, but if it's obtuse, it's going thoroughly all the way, leaning back too far, okay? So I hope this helps you understand the words a little bit better. Uh, I will see you around and good to know that you are studying. See you later.